Yo, what's going on guys? Quinn is currently absolutely busted. She's a top five top laner and the reason is because Static Shiv only got nerfed for magic damage champs, not for physical damage champs. Only the AP scaling went down on it, not the AD scaling. So we can still rush Static Shiv with Longsword start, get it extremely early in the game and then roam. Second thing, roaming top laners are getting much stronger. Having that potential to roam is more valuable than ever because whenever you crash waves on people, even if they hit you and you're right on top of your minions, your minions will not touch them if your minions are already hitting the turret. They made that change a couple patches ago to where it's much more difficult to do solo dives. You basically have to have your jungler come and in a solo queue environment, coordinating something with your jungler is inconsistent to say the least. So Quinn's roams in this meta, very good. Static Shiv on her, very good. We're gonna be going Static Shiv Rush into a Gelforce into Lord Dominic's regard. Gonna be a fun game up against Darius. Flash Ignite, that's a mistake. You should always go Flash Ghost. I might even have to rush Tier 2 Boots here versus Darius. Swifties are incredibly good on Quinn. They have some slows on their team as well. You pretty much want to auto E auto immediately. This is going to use up some of our mana, which we heal back through Presence of Mind, which we should have had. That's my mistake. And we can heal back the damage we take from minions through Fleet. So we're going to auto E auto. He does nick us with his Q there. That's all right. We did more damage to him than he did to us. We need... Oh, there's our level 2. You can get your W level 2 or Q level 2. It's relatively similar value. Against melee champs, W level 2 is probably a little bit better for the attack speed and movement speed. But against range champs, you definitely uh, want to have your Q level 1 or level 2. But obviously, Darius is not a range champ. We'll go ahead, crash wave. I'll go in for the raw E auto. Because last time when I went auto E auto, he started up his Q and it made it hard to get to him because then I got hit by his Q tipper. Quinn's only AoE clear naturally is her R and her Q. Obviously her R costs a lot of mana though. You really shouldn't be using her R to push waves and her Q It'll only does so much. Okay, we need to get a ward down. We can knock people out of the air with our E, like a Zach jump, Trist jump, kind of like a vein tumble, Camille jump. The worst matchup on Quinn is against Malphite. Highly recommend banning Malphite every game. He's extremely low. He has to back now. He's gonna miss out on a lot of minions. Auto Q auto. Get him with our E. That's a kill. Darius didn't touch her, so. He doesn't even get a assist or anything or kill. Auto into Q. Zach, I am behind a minion. Auto E auto. We flash it and he's in trouble. And an auto auto and a Q auto. Down he goes. We wait until his ball blitz got closer together. I only autoed the minion because that's what my uh, passive was on. And whenever you apply your passive, you get extra movement speed and attack speed. And that's what can help us push out the wave. I don't actually know if Darius flashed there. I guess we'll find out here in a moment. Your passive is simply damage. Your W is the movement speed and attack speed. With the red buff, I can pecker Darius down super hard. Just like so. What you off his head. It's going to be hard for him to ever really get to us. I am tanking his cannon right now. So that's a little bit annoying. Zach may come. You don't use your W active too much on Quinn. Just when you think you're probably going to get ganked. Or if the enemy goes into bush, you can use your W so you don't have to waste your ward. It's the main times. We go ahead and get a ward down right here. We can knock Zach out of the air. Step back right when he went for that. Auto Q auto. He kind of needs to reset. I'll be resetting here in a moment. Oof. Catch him with our E. Ooh, I'm dead. We got the speed up off of Fleet. I think Darius Hook's still on a cooldown here. Auto Q auto. We can knock Zach out of the air. Oh, didn't get my E down. That's my bad. <laughs> I was trying to click it on him. That was a good key by the Zach. We definitely overstayed there. It's 
go ahead and pick up Noon Quiver. Actually, first you're supposed to go for a Shard. Shard gives you a lot of burst. Then we'll go for Noon Quiver, head back to lane. We're almost level 6 too. That timing is so bad. We definitely could have killed Zac there if I played it a bit better. We had to click E on him. As he E'd on to me, I had my cursor in the wrong spot. Could have caught him in midair and knocked him out of his dash. You can knock Trist, the Camille, Zac, uh, Kha'Zix, Rangar, anyone out of their dash. Now, Gragas and Camille, if they're throwing the knock-up portion of their dash at you, then uh, they will knock you out of your dash. You just have to keep that in mind, kind of the angle you're coming to them at. We can start to roam now after we push this wave. Sitting on a big gold lead. Luckily, it was Zach who got the gold and not the Darius. If Darius got that gold, it would make this game much more challenging. Auto and acute. All right, I think I just saw Zach bot side. Maybe that's just LeBlanc. Not having boots against Darius does feel really bad. Having boots would be nice. There he is. Get him with an E. I wasn't going to be able to reach him with an auto, auto, Q, auto. Got it. Feels bad for Darius. He's going to miss a lot of CS off that. Heck, even I'm missing some CS off that. Go ahead and pop a refill. Keep our health high. Let's get these low. Auto Q auto, reapply our passive for the W attack speed. If I had a ward, I would lay it up here so we could see. All right, there's the kindred slope. We're not gonna chase that all the way in. I don't want him to hook me out of my jump because he can do that. We wanna get our ward right there to where it can see which side it's gonna be coming from. He's going to need Zach to bring him back in the lane. He can't really come back too safely here. He's going to queue forward auto. Yep, there it is. Feels bad for Darius. That time we start roaming. I'm sitting on static shiv. I'll take this play and look for the reset. Nice. It's a good time to back. His wave's also going to push to me because Kindred grabbed it and she slowed it down. So look how it's attacking here first. Oh, wait, did she kill minions out of it? Huh, not sure what happened there. Got static tier one boots. Now we want to go for Gale Force. Typically, you would go for, I guess we'll sell refill so I can just pick up Swifties and leave base. Swifties are insanely good. We can run center, go bot mid or top. Not seeing anything bot side. We can quickly push the wave now with the static. Yeah, we'll just go top. And Darius is very killable here. There's no need for me to roam. He's pushing up. Run him down. You typically use your E when you can no longer reach them with your auto range or when you need to cancel some of their mobility. Come with an E auto, Q auto. I knew I didn't need to burn my ignite for that. And then we'll stay to push since the waves here. I have static. I can push real quick. Beautiful. This turret's gone. Oof. Yeah, Harold only scrapes 1.8 plates. I need to buff it back to two. Let's go ahead and push it in before we get back. We're gonna auto queue auto. He almost got me with that. Yeah, he, he hooked me out of that. Yep. That's the danger with the Quinn E. If they have a displacement themselves, if they happen to time it really well, because they can't truly react to it. The Quinn E happens too fast for most displacements. But if they kind of anticipate it and have semi lucky timing, they can end up canceling you out. And we got wrecked there. Zach Flash. I don't know if Darius Flash. 
Let's go ahead and pick up more of our Gel Force. We'll grab the movement speed aspect. We'll grab a control ward, head back to lane. I might actually be able to get some kills over here. Still have a pretty big lead on Darius, even though I'm dying too much. I'd like to get an assist for this. Hmm, I think this is warded. We gotta go back top. Darius only tier 1 boots, I'm tier 2 boots, he's dead. I'll have my W to scout bush as well. We already know Zach's not over here. Displacements are the most annoying CC for Quinn, because that's what cancels your E. Knockups, knockbacks, hooks. So Zach, Q, Zach, E, Zach are all that cancels our E dash on the front end and back end. And obviously Darius hook as well. He, he wasn't allowed to do that. He's just playing for the plates now. I think he understands his lane's over. Let's see if Zach's here. Pop the W. He is here. Imagine that. Kindred should come over here. It's a free mark. Auto Q auto. Auto E auto. I don't think I could have killed him even with Ignite. That's too much health. Auto in the E auto. He's ignited, down he goes. I knew he didn't have passive there. Auto Q auto, your Q is more useful against range champs. Get her with the E, oof, down she goes. Since your Q blinds them, range champs, obviously, they tend to auto you at a distance. They can't see you. That's why against range champs, you typically start Q level 1. Or at least get it at level 2. Against melee champs, you always start E. Darius is trying to get around me here. So I should be able to knock this guy out of the air. Hmm. I'm not sure what's going on there. We should roam though. We're up super far on the map. I've already died too much this game. Auto Q auto. Cancel his E with my E. Oof. Not sure why LeBlanc's over here. I do have fast boots at least. Auto E auto. Try to get over that wall. Mm, that's bad. Yeah, that's bad. <laughs> it said three people. You can backwards flip over walls. You have to be kind of in the right spot, though, because it only has so much backwards distance from the jump. I need to be a little bit closer for this thick of a wall. For a thinner wall, I could have been pretty far away. Got Gale Force, third item, since they got beefy boys, double beefy boys, so champions are going to be building multiple HP items and armor items. Lord Doms is the way to go. Percent base damage against them, plus armor penetration. Super spicy. And crit. It's nice not having to take teleport. Quinn always goes ignite flash or flash ghost. Ghost is more for team fighting than it is necessarily for lane phase. <clears throat> it's not bad for lane phase, but if you're up against a self healer, auto Q auto. Auto E auto. I'm gonna gel force into him. I don't want him to hit me with Q tipper and then Zach jump in and I get stalled out and killed. Static shivs one tapping the back lines. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Makes me want to play a Quinn Jungle game. I actually really enjoy Quinn Jungle. It's a lot like playing Kindred Jungle, except you have some CC. Kindred only has a slow. Quinn has blind, and of course she has her knock on her E, which cancels most mobility in channels. It also attaches to them, so flashing away or whatever, you'll come with them. I gotta run out of here. Zach's, he's playing topside, that's so freaking heavy. Oh, Zeras here too, alright. I have to flash this. 
They're playing crazy heavy. No way I die here, right? <laughs> what in the world is going on? I'm dead. Almost. I almost just died. I think if he would have been able to get off that auto, I would have been toasted. I don't think I really have to reset as funny as that sounds. They're all playing mid. Could probably heal up staying on the map. My Gale Force is up as well. They don't seem to be over here. Almost killed a failure. Zach's still here. That is unbelievable. This dude is still freaking here. Catch him with my E, knock him out of the air. It's so annoying to play against Quinn when you're on Zach because she can knock you out of the air or just knock you out of your channel if you're really charging it up. I would like this red buff. Oh, she hasn't finished her jungle item yet, so it's not even going to leave the residue. That's to finish her jungle item first. She should have probably taken Krugs and red so I could have had it. We both would have had it. Let me push top real quick. Then we'll reset once we can afford Lord Doms. Look at that wave clear, dude. Quinn was never intended to be able to do that to waves. What is this champion's weakness? It used to just be her general scaling. How strong and impactful items are, and now with being able to AoE clear waves. She doesn't have any clearing weaknesses. High mobility, high damage, she has some CC. She has wave clear now. Three mid, two dead, I'll stay and push. They lose turret here. Get our passive down. It's not sh popping up on the minion yet. Right, I kind of have to leave. Not gonna be coming for me. It might go for dragon actually. That'd make a little bit more sense. I need more vision. Once I know where they're at, I can make a call. We could definitely drag fight. It's a little risky because the Zach though, if he lands a big E. Okay, so Zach's over there. We can stay then. Hmm. Auto E, auto Q, auto. I'm so fast. Maybe I could have killed him with Gale Force auto ignite auto. I'm worried he has flash or something. I don't want to end up getting myself killed. I have some shutdown and, and he has to back anyways to where I can stay. Oh, Misfortune got the dragon. That's pretty slick. Very slick. Look at that attack dude bonus. Auto E auto, we get the attachment. I'll get force away. Cool Felios. I have tier two boots that are the fast ones. I have Swifties. I should be able to get out of that. Speed up from fleet in combination with the speed up from um your W on passive application. Makes Quinn incredibly slippery in combat. And then obviously the Swifties, so if we get into just a straight up run fest, still outrun a lot of people. You should always turn to hit him with an auto if your fleet's up. Or if you have passive on him, because he'll move a lot faster that way. Okay, sitting on full Lord Doms. Got a reset. Uh, I could actually kill this guy. Oof, maybe not. Wasn't expecting LeBlanc to be there. I'll lead in with an E. I don't want her to dash out or whatever. Yeah, I'm dead. That Zac displacement is brutal. If I go to E him, and when he's on his R, he ends up knocking me out of my E. 
It's a really bad interaction for us. Now we have Lord Doms. We can absolutely shred them. Bork would be good as well. So would Crack in our collector. I would say Edge of Night, actually. I, it would help me a lot with getting away from Zack when he's on his R. I could just hit him with an E or the a raw LeBlanc chain or raw Darius hook. Wouldn't be able to do anything. Because right now, the only thing that's getting us killed is being stuck, standing still. That is really the only thing. We already have top and hib. We can run bot. Pretty fed. Gotta stay alive. This LeBlanc's kind of in trouble a little bit. I mean, they can go for Baron here if they really want to. Probably should just pop back into bird form. To get here a little bit quicker. Few autos clears the wave. My minis don't even have to stand still to attack. Beautiful. Kindred's gonna stall them out. You're gonna lose this inhib. What the nice thing about not going for Bork, you do more damage against structures. Bork's on hit does nothing against structures. Wow, Quadra on Kindred. If I can hit this guy with a Q, he's dead. Wow, he's still able to auto while blinded. <laughs> what? Got him. Flash auto. That champ is so funky. Because he was blinded, but he's still able to auto attack my minions. Not sure if that's a bug or a feature. Who knows? Wild. Oh, he's the only character in the game that can... Uh... Auto attack and not have to stand still or pause on the, that one gun mode at least. It's a really good kite tool. Being able to do full damage output and not have to stop. It's like having a sunfire almost. It might be game. Oh, never mind. Kindred's dead. Still have several teammates alive. There's Senna. Or not Senna. Who was alive? I guess it's Aphelios. Kind of looked like a Senna there. Mm. Pantan only has two bleed stacks on him. And that might be it. That is indeed it. Nice. Let's take a look at the graphs, damage dealt, damage taken, and runes. Looking at damage dealt enemy champions, we have the second most in the game. Looking at damage taken, very average. And for runes, high value. All in all, Quintop right now, a whole lot of fun. Just make sure you ban Malphite. If you guys enjoyed this Quinn video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. My name is King Sticks. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.